what's going on YouTube. Alright, so today what I want to do is just give you an overview of where I'm at with my kayak. I think I'm okay with as far as how far I've gotten with it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do too much more to it. What I am going to do is uh, give you guys this video, let you know where I'm at. Uh, I've got a couple of extra things I've added onto it that I didn't really include in other videos. And I didn't feel the need to go in depth in it, so it's all going to be a part of this video here. Uh, I had a bad day fishing the other day, and I'll throw some clips of that into it. Didn't catch a thing. Um, so let's get to it. Alright, so here is the kayak. This is the Pelican Trailblazer 10 foot. This is how I go out in it, just like it is right here. Okay, so the first thing I added to this, I've already done a video on, and that is this paddle holder right here. I haven't had any issues at all with it. Uh, this paddle stays in there. I'm not worried about it dropping out. Um, to go along with that, I bought a just a little dog leash for a dollar at the dollar store, and that is acting as my paddle leash. It's worked perfectly. Um, when I was fishing in Jocassi, I had to drop it at one point when I was getting a bite, and I didn't have to worry about it at all. Moving on, the second thing that we did was add these little uh, deck loops or D loops right here. Added three of them right here, and I added the one on the inside. I'm probably going to end up adding uh, one or two more right in here just so I've got some extra clips. Um, now, what I'm using these for currently, I can clip. Uh, little loops on them anytime I want to. Um, you know, like these right here. Carabiners. But, uh, I've got my anchor trolley on it. So, anchor on, latch it, get it to go to the back or the front, depending on where I want my kayak to be sitting. I've also added just this taped ruler. Um, for obvious reasons. Real handy, right there by my side. What I'm using as my anchor is this right here. Alright, so. It's attached to a dog leash. Let it loose, it drops. This is 26 foot. Um, it's got a little light on the top of it in case I need that. And I uh, haven't had any issues with it at all. It's worked perfect. Uh, I attach it to the little loop up here. And let it go. Um, extra thing you might want to have on you. Uh, I haven't used this yet. I haven't had the need to. But we are planning on going camping in our kayaks once it starts getting a little bit cooler. These dry bags. Uh, this is a fairly large one. I'll give you an example of how big it is. Uh, we can fit a couple of towels in there, any clothes we need, maybe a little bit of food. Um, it's going to stay dry as long as it's not you know, submerged for any length of time. That's not what they're meant for. I may do a review on this one right here. As needed. Next thing you're gonna need, I've got this right here, it's just a pump in case you were to flip your kayak. Get it flipped over, get inside and pump as much water out of your kayak as you can. You don't want that extra weight in there. I always keep it tucked at the very front. Moving on to our milk crate. I did a how-to little uh, playlist on that and I've got my one rod in there right now and my net just to show you guys and this flag I didn't show you guys when I made this but uh, all this is is PVC and duct tape 
and I haven't had any visibility issues. Now, uh, this milk crate is attached. I don't have it attached right now, but is attached like this. These uh, washers are will be on the inside of the milk crate, and I just wing nut it all down, so I don't have an issue with it coming off at all. It stays tight. It's not going anywhere. Um, and I also cut this area out right here. I did a video on that also. Um, just for extra storage for when we do decide to go camping. I'm not using it for fishing or just, you know, going on the, out on the lake for a day. But uh, just for a little bit of extra uh, storage for when we do decide to take those long trips. And that is about it. So, an overview. Do I like this kayak? I love this kayak. It's extremely lightweight. I don't have a problem getting it up on top of my roof rack at all by myself. Um, you know, that means going out on the lake by myself to go fishing isn't an issue at all. Uh, so that's convenient. Um, you know, I don't have any issue with the tracking. It stays straight. Uh, haven't had any issue with the weight I put in it. Although, I mean, that's about all I've carried in it so far. When I go camping, I'll do another review on it and uh, let you guys know how that goes with the extra weight in there for the tent and all that. Um, any negative? I'll probably be fixing this right here. This is the, uh, if you retain water, you, uh, let it all out back here. I don't like that this isn't attached. I'll probably be uh, just putting a line on this and attaching it to another ring right here. So I'll put another ring right here and uh, attach a line to this. That way I don't lose this. I don't want there to be a hole that's not plugged. Um, inside my milk crate I uh, keep my whistle on my life jacket usually, but while I don't have my life jacket, I've got it right here, so I never forget it. In here, I've got a couple of extra uh, GoPro pieces in there in case I want to mount a different way. I've got my sunscreen. I've got a couple of extra zip ties um, in case one of these fail. here down below it's gonna be all my fishing stuff I've got a thing of duct tape in there uh, for a quick fix if I was to hit a rock and there'd be a hole just wrap it around my kayak a bunch of times till I can get somewhere and fix my kayak permanently um, fishing gear I'll keep a uh, a couple of extra little things in there depending on what I'm doing, maybe a drink or two. Uh, which reminds me, the drink holder for this kayak is right here. This is your drink holder. Now, your drink's not never going to stay there. Uh, you can buy drink holders that you can add on to this. I'm just going to get a little cooler bag and stuff mine in there. I don't have too big of an issue with it staying, you know, right in here. Um, it doesn't roll around too much. And uh, that's it, guys. That's the kayak in a nutshell. I'm loving it so far. Uh, if you're thinking about getting one of these for kayak fishing and transforming it into something like this, I recommend it. Um, like I said, uh, these go for about $1.99 at Dick's on sale. I got mine a little bit cheaper than that because they had the price marked wrong. So uh, for the price, it's your best bang for your buck. Uh, now here's the fun part. So what I'm thinking about doing is a little giveaway. Let me show you what that's going to be. Any of you that have heard about this, uh, you know this is Lucky Tackle Box. 
it's a subscription based tackle box it comes in the mail once a month um, there's several of them out there there's lucky tackle box tackle grab mystery tackle box and uh, I'm gonna give away one of these once I reach a thousand views on all of my videos combined and then I'll do another one at 3,000 and another one at 5,000 um, they're a neat little box you know, comes in them is there's this right here sticker more plastics must adds more plastics uh, show you what I got on my rod right now I came in it this past month I took it out of the box um, but if you're interested in getting this uh, I'll post a video once I reach a thousand views on all of my videos so uh, make sure you're watching all my videos uh, sharing them liking subscribing and uh, what I'll do is just have people comment on that specific video and I'll do a random generated thing and pick somebody and have this sent to you. I'll get in contact with you. It's a pretty cool little box. Free tackle for you guys. So keep watching. Like my videos. Subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.